So let's start. Number 10, the tumor that had teeth and hair. Not all things living inside the body come from the outside. Sometimes your own body creates them. Enter the world of teratomas, rare tumors that can contain teeth, hair, and even fully formed organs. These bizarre growths form when germ cells, the building blocks of sperm and eggs, develop abnormally. Instead of turning into a baby, they produce random body parts. One of the most infamous cases occurred when doctors removed a tumor from a teenage girl's ovary and discovered it had a full set of teeth and patches of hair inside. Other reports describe teratomas with jawbones, eyeball-like structures, and even miniature limbs. They're not alive in the traditional sense, but the idea of having something inside you that looks suspiciously like a Frankenstein's prototype is deeply unsettling. Teratomas are usually benign, but their discovery can be traumatic. Patients often describe shock when doctors explain what was found. Imagine thinking you have a simple cyst, only to learn you've been carrying a molar or a lock of hair that isn't supposed to exist. It's a reminder that the human body isn't just vulnerable to invaders from the outside. Sometimes its own cells go rogue and start building things that belong in a biology museum. In a way, teratomas are the creepiest of all because you can't blame nature or parasites. You can only blame yourself. Number 9. The squid that tried to hatch in someone's mouth. In 2012, a 63-year-old South Korean woman sat down for a meal of boiled squid. Everything was normal, until she bit into a piece and felt an immediate sharp, crawling sensation in her mouth. She rushed to the hospital, where doctors discovered something disturbing. Her mouth was infested with spermatophores, tiny sperm sacs released by the squid. These sacs had embedded themselves into her gums, tongue, and the lining of her mouth. Under a microscope, doctors could actually see the tiny structures wriggling inside her tissue. In essence, the squid had posthumously tried to reproduce in her face. It was a full-on biological invasion. Doctors managed to extract the foreign matter, but the story shocked the world. For the woman, what began as a nice seafood dinner turned into a living nightmare and probably ensured she never looked at calamari the same way again. Scientists later explained that the squid had not been cleaned properly, leaving the reproductive structures intact, which activated once bitten into. The case became a chilling example of how fragile the line is between food and parasite. When you hear about fresh seafood from now on, you might think twice about just how alive it might still be. Number 8. The Brain-Eating Amoeba Few things sound more terrifying than a parasite that targets the very organ that makes you, you. Enter Negleria fowleris, better known as the brain-eating amoeba. This microscopic organism lives in warm freshwater, like lakes and hot springs. The danger begins when someone inhales contaminated water through the nose. From there, the amoeba travels up the nasal cavity and begins devouring brain tissue. The infection it causes, primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, PAM, is incredibly rare but almost always fatal. Symptoms start with headaches and nausea, then rapidly progress to confusion, hallucinations, seizures, and death within days. Survival cases are so few that they can be counted on one hand. Scientists estimate the mortality rate is over 97%. What makes Negleria fowlery especially terrifying is how silent it is at first. Victims may think they just have a bad headache or the flu until it's too late. Cases often occur after swimming in lakes or using unchlorinated water in neti pots. One wrong splash and an invisible assassin might already be in motion. The thought of something so small, invisible without a microscope, being capable of eating your brain is enough to make anyone reconsider swimming in warm, fresh water. If horror movies wanted new material, they don't need monsters, they just need this amoeba. Number 7. The Botfly Larva Under the Skin for most people, mosquitoes are just an itchy annoyance. But in parts of Central and South America, mosquitoes sometimes carry an even worse passenger, the human botfly. This insect has evolved a horrifying life cycle. A botfly doesn't lay eggs directly on humans. Instead, it uses mosquitoes or other insects as delivery drones. When a mosquito lands on you, botfly eggs transfer onto your skin, and when they hatch, the larvae burrow inside your body, over the next weeks, the larvae feed on your tissue while living comfortably beneath your skin. Victims often feel strange tingling or movement in the area. 
and in some cases you can literally see the larva wriggling under the surface. Each larva creates a small breathing hole in the skin so it can survive until it's ready to emerge. The removal process is both gross and fascinating. Some doctors extract them surgically while others cover the breathing hole with petroleum jelly or tape forcing the larva to come up for air. Then, with tweezers, the creature is pulled out alive and is very unwilling to leave. The idea that your body could secretly host an insect growing inside you is one of nature's cruelest designs. For locals, it's an unpleasant reality. For outsiders, it's the stuff of horror stories, the kind that sticks with you long after the bug has been removed. Number six, the tapeworm that took over someone's brain. Tapeworms are already infamous for their intestinal squatting, they can grow to astonishing lengths while siphoning nutrients from their host, but in one British man's case, the parasite decided to go off script. After years of strange symptoms, headaches, seizures, and memory problems, doctors finally discovered the shocking cause, a tapeworm living inside his brain. Over the course of four years, the worm had slowly migrated through different regions of his brain, burrowing tunnels and vital tissue, it caused permanent neurological damage before doctors were able to remove it surgically. Brain scans showed the worm had literally been taking scenic tours through his gray matter. This condition called neurocystic ercosis happens when tapeworm larvae from undercooked pork enter the bloodstream and lodge themselves in places they shouldn't. In some parts of the world, it's a common cause of seizures, though in developed nations, it's a shocking rarity. The idea that something could not only survive inside your body but also take up residence in your brain is terrifying. It's one thing to lose nutrients to a gut parasite, it's another to lose your thoughts, memories, and motor control because of a worm that doesn't even know what a brain is. Number 5. The woman with 12 gallons of worms inside her. In 2018, doctors in India were stunned when a woman came in with severe abdominal swelling. At first, they suspected cancer or some sort of massive fluid buildup, but after running tests, they realized the culprit wasn't a tumor. It was a living infestation. Her intestines were overflowing with roundworms, some stretching nearly a foot long. Altogether, doctors removed an estimated 12 gallons of worms from her body. A roundworm infections caused by Ascaris lumbricoids are unfortunately common in areas with poor sanitation. The eggs can be ingested through contaminated food or water, and once inside the body, they hatch and grow rapidly. Normally, a person might have a handful of these parasites at once, but in this case, the woman's intestines had become something like a crowded subway car during rush hour, packed with wriggling passengers. The infestation was so severe that her digestive system was nearly blocked, and her body had started to bloat alarmingly. Doctors performed emergency surgery to physically remove the worms, describing the process as pulling out ropes of spaghetti that never seemed to end. It wasn't one or two creatures, it was an entire ecosystem. This case shows how parasites aren't just gross curiosities, they can become life-threatening when left untreated, and the thought that your body could unknowingly become a literal worm factory is enough to make anyone suddenly appreciate modern plumbing and hand washing. Number 4. The spider that moved into someone's ear. In 2014, a woman in China checked herself into the hospital after days of feeling an odd, tickling sensation deep in her ear. She thought maybe it was an infection, or at worst, a trapped insect. Doctors examined her ear canal with a scope and recoiled. A live spider had made itself at home inside, spinning a small web along the delicate skin. The doctors had to be extremely careful. If they tried to grab the spider directly, it might panic and bite, causing serious damage in such a sensitive area. Instead, they used saline solution to flush the creature out. Under the spray, the spider reluctantly crawled out of her ear canal and scuttled across the examination table, very much alive and very annoyed. Cases like this aren't as rare as you'd think. Hospitals worldwide have documented ear canal squatters ranging from cockroaches to moths to tiny frogs. For the unlucky host, the sensation is often described as maddening, scratching, fluttering, or crawling that just won't stop. Imagine trying to sleep while knowing something is literally wriggling inside your head. Most people joke about bugs crawling into their ears at night, but this case proves that this campfire story is a real biological risk. The good news? Usually the solution is quick once doctors identify the problem. The bad news? 
You'll probably never sleep soundly again without earplugs. Number 3. The man with mushrooms in his gut. In 2019, doctors in China discovered one of the strangest cases of accidental cultivation inside the human body. A 50-year-old man went to the hospital with severe stomach pain and unexplained bloating. After scans and exploratory procedures, doctors discovered that the problem wasn't gas, ulcers, or cancer, it was fungus. Specifically, mushroom-like structures were growing inside his intestinal tract. The man had been taking traditional herbal remedies, some of which included raw spores. In healthy conditions, those spores should have been harmless, but his immune system was compromised, and instead of dying off, the spores found a moist, nutrient-rich environment where they could germinate. Over time, they grew into fungal masses that looked disturbingly like miniature mushrooms sprouting in the dark. Doctors removed the fungal growth surgically and treated him with antifungal medications, but the story raised questions about just how opportunistic certain organisms can be. Fungi are famously adaptable, from growing on damp bathroom tiles to thriving on forgotten bread, the human body, it turns out, isn't off-limits either, especially if the immune system isn't up to full strength. There's a strange irony in someone accidentally turning themselves into a living garden. Most people want to eat more mushrooms for health. This man unintentionally skipped a step and became the soil. Number 2. The Mystery of the Leech in the Nose For weeks, a woman in Vietnam couldn't shake a constant nosebleed. She'd try tissues, sprays, everything, but the bleeding kept coming back. Eventually, she went to a clinic where doctors took a closer look. To their shock, they found a giant leech lodged inside her nasal cavity, happily sucking away at her blood supply. Leeches can enter the body when people swim or bathe in infested fresh water. The tiny larvae are almost invisible at first, but once inside, they attach themselves to moist mucous membranes and begin feeding. Over time, they grow larger, and in this case, the leech had been thriving in her nose for weeks. Doctors carefully extracted the creature, which had swollen with blood. Once it was out, the woman's nosebleed stopped immediately, but the psychological damage? Probably permanent. She had been walking around with a living vampire worm latched inside her face. This isn't an isolated event either. Medical reports exist of leeches found in people's throats, lungs, and even eyes. They're opportunistic feeders, and to them, the human body is just another convenient watering hole. It's the kind of story that makes you think twice about dunking your head in a river without goggles. Number 1. The man with a forest in his lung. In 2009, a Russian man named Artyom Sidorkin went to the doctor complaining of intense chest pain and coughing up blood. Naturally, doctors suspected lung cancer. They scheduled surgery to remove the suspected tumor, but when they opened him up, they didn't find cancer. Instead, they found a two-inch fir tree sapling growing inside his lung. Yes, a living tree was taking root where oxygen was supposed to flow. The working theory was that Sidorkin must have inhaled a seed, which somehow bypassed all the body's defenses against foreign objects. Normally, your lungs are lined with mechanisms to expel invaders, but in this bizarre case, the seed found a damp, warm nook and actually sprouted. Obviously, the tree couldn't survive long term, Human lungs don't exactly offer sunlight and fertilizer, but the fact that it grew at all is mind-blowing. The doctors removed the sapling, and Sidorkin survived the ordeal. But his case remains one of the strangest examples of the human body accidentally playing landlord to another life form. Imagine trying to explain that your cough isn't from smoking or allergies, but because you've literally been photosynthesizing inside. It's unsettling to think how easily something as simple as a seed could transform from harmless to horrifying when given the wrong environment. Sidorkin's case turned into a medical legend, a story equal parts unbelievable and nightmare fuel. Thank you for watching and sticking till the end. We've got plenty more videos coming in the future. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. See you in the next one.